Just as wind energy is poised to become a major energy source, people are beginning to report problems, like huge wind machines built too close to people's houses. It was definitely not necessary to put them 300 or 400 or 700 meters away from people's homes. Lotta Nilsson lives in southern Sweden. In 1999, her small village became the site of one of Sweden's new wind farms. Almost immediately, neighbors began to talk about loud noise and a disturbing strobe light effect as the turbine blades cut through the morning and evening sunlight. The wind companies must absolutely, if they believe in their business, be much more careful ahead because this opinion is growing and they will, they will have an enemy there. People are coming up with common sense solutions like putting smaller turbines in residential areas and the huge machines further from people. Of course, the easiest way to avoid the troubles associated with any technology is to need less of it. The single biggest change in our economy over the past 30 years hasn't been information technology, hasn't been you know, mass production or whatever else. It's been the change in our energy use. Americans are nearly 40% more efficient today than during the OPEC oil crisis of the 1970s. That event turned conservation into good business. But the U.S. still uses more energy and creates more pollution per person than any large nation. The U.S. has learned to conserve, but other nations have learned to conserve much more. Renewable technologies like solar panels, wind turbines, and fuel cells also offer another benefit. They can be built, installed, and used locally. But U.S. government support for renewable technologies still lags far behind subsidies for nuclear, oil, or coal. We did the heavy lifting, but we're now giving away the store by not just keeping up those pretty modest levels of investment. For years, supporters of renewable power have fought to make clean energy competitive. Now technology is catching up with that dream. And when people begin to see economic and environmental benefits, public attitude shouldn't be too far behind.